Pray, pray, pray. Just checking the settings. And again. Need to do it again. Yeah. So, this time I've managed to get on this stool, something which I couldn't do last time. Doesn't seem to really have any use, uh, it doesn't really seem to be, uh, um, doesn't really seem to be, it doesn't really seem to be any reason for it, or just, uh, I mean, that added height doesn't allow me to get into the wardrobe or anything, does it? I wonder, though, if um, this picture um, up here is a puzzle or anything. Not that I can see, mind you, so... Uh, <clears throat> so let's be getting out of here, then, since I have got my ideas um, in regards to what to do. So, uh, yeah, what I'm gonna tr what I'm gonna try and do is um, give the yonder castle book to the troll. You know, with how um, you know, with how he wanted to um. You know, with how he didn't like me interfering with his view of the castle and all. So, but maybe he's such um, maybe he's such an enthusiast and so fanatical um, in his fanboyism of the castle of yonder castle. Do he'd appreciate me giving him this book? Eh? And I wonder what this stuff is, and if I could use the cutting implements on it. But no, that wouldn't seem to be the case, would it say, Sunny Jim? And by the way, with all my health is so low, as you can see in the top right, next to Daisy's picture up there, Daisy's picture, I mean, uh, it should, would be, sure would be helpful if I could find some food right about now, wouldn't it? I do have a suspicion that I've already eaten the food that's in this uh, castle, mind you, but as a matter of fact, I'm pretty sure I have, but since we're here, yes, I have, I have eaten it. And I can't eat the loaf of bread either, so let's get out of here. What do you say, baby dolls? I, uh... And, um... Let's be heading off to that troll and see if um, my theory holds true, eh? Um, about him wanting the Yonder Castle book, eh? Whee! That's a marshy pit I just jumped over as hard to see as it is. So if your bright if um, your your mon if your laptop or your monitor doesn't uh, d doesn't go very bright, then this isn't this then this can be rather complicated to play. There can be issues, should you say? You could say baby dolls. Yeah, and it's been something of a heat wave again over the last few days. And even though it's in early September, as a matter of fact, um, I think that um, when I last complete, when I last played through this whole game, it might have been near enough exactly 10 years ago because um, 
I remember when I was completing it for the first time ever, and um, it, I think it was a heat wave in September then, because I was nervous each morning because I was playing it, um, bumping it wouldn't be hot and all. So, see if I can remember where the fruit is. I mean, um, I don't think he'll be up here, but you never know. But the troll is up here, that's the important thing. But then again, there's birds and whatnot and creatures that have rather unorthodox patterns, which can be hard to avoid up and around this area, unfortunately enough. But yeah, it's really fitting to have ended up... Um, Playing this, isn't it, at this time of year? And well, do you, well, would, well, and, uh, would you look at this? Our fruit is here after all. Isn't that nice, Sunny Jim? So I'll save now that we're full up on health again. And let us be on our way to that troll who isn't far away from here, eh? So that we can give him what, he, what I think he needs. Uh, that bird is going to be coming here, so I'd best uh, wait until it's passed, yeah. Okay, let's try this now. What? How can that be wrong? Uh, uh, okay, what to do now? I suppose um, Seamus the Leprechaun would like the poem book, even though it has Dozy's name on it. You know, with him being a rather eccentric type. Guess not. Oh, yeah. Okay, then I'll say before descending from here, just in case I get hurt or something. I mean, yeah, he did. Yes, here we are. So, what's to do now? Well, I could always try um, swimming in the water down here. I mean, I can always save before trying it, can't I? So, to, um, if I die, it won't be such a bad thing. And it would save me uh, going all the way back to the castle to try... to try solving puzzles with the goblets, wouldn't it? Because uh, that would be a lot, of, oh, a lot of walking back, wouldn't it? And I'm not going to save after... I mean, I'm not going to reload after that um, with how I haven't um, saved in some time. Can we use the cutting implements on the ladder, although it wouldn't really seem very smart, would it? So this is the way you're supposed to get up this ladder, right? After all, it is rather inconveniently and all an unorthodoxly designed, isn't it? Is unorthodoxly a word even, I wonder? Anyway, can we walk on this pipe, I wonder? Yes, that's kind of nice. Um, means that I'm not stuck anymore, at least. I wonder what I should leave behind now. Because I'm... Well, no, I won't leave anything. I'll just progress and... Although I wonder if there's any descriptive text about this pipe, but there isn't, it's it seem. Oh, we must be onto the well here. The well water system, as the screen would say. So presumably we'll be able to collect... Um, Presumably we'll be able to collect this bucket here, I imagine. 
Yes, and will we be able to fill it here too? No, but there is a body of water. Um, that I've, un that I've discovered in a different part of this game, though, isn't there? So, no worries there, at least. Oh, and there's Dozy. I'm guessing he probably needs his, po his poem book, eh? So, um, let's get it and see if we can solve this puzzle right away, eh? And I wonder what uh, the purpose of these doors, these hatches are. And um, if this is like a puzzle or something, maybe. Seems pretty logical to me. Underground water store, eh? This is quite an adventurous and cavernous place, isn't it? And as usual, it seems like Dozy has quite a lot to say when he's wide awake. Hey, Dozy, it's Dizzy Pray Pray. He's in his own world, boy, boy. You give him a nudge and he comes to, boy, boy. Oh, it's you, Dizzy. You would have to, wouldn't you, boy, boy. Would have to what, Dozy, boy, boy. I was having a lovely dream, and now you spoiled it, pray, pray. What dream, and what are you, what are you doing here, pray, pray? Isn't it obvious, dizzy, pray, pray? Obvious, pray, pray? Mm. Yes, yeah, suppose so. You came for a sleep, boy, boy. But he was standing upright, though. Came here out that weather where I could get some sleep. I was dreaming of my darling, darling, boy, boy. Darling, boy, boy. It was just getting really good. Then you came along, boy, boy. Ah, uh, maybe we better not delve any more into that, boy, boy. My thoughts exactly, boy, boy. Dizzy has a wry smile and think she's just in his imagination, pray, pray. After all, has anyone ever heard of Darlene and Dizzy Games, eh, pray, pray? Well, sorry, Dozy, how can I make it up to you, pray, pray? And isn't my dialogue in a nice purple colour, eh? How nice indeed, Sunny Jim. Well, I've misplaced my poem book. I knew it. I have written my love poems for Darlene and, uh, you better promise not to read them, oh, boy, boy. I will have a look for it, and I promise not to read it, boy, boy. I don't even have time to read it. You give Josie the poem book, boy, boy. Oh, my poem book. You didn't read it, did you, Dizzy, boy, boy? No, of course not, boy, boy. That's okay, then. Here, take this. I came across. I will wait by the boat and work on my poems, boy, boy. After all, just imagine my slow, dreamy, romantic voice delivering poems and prose to those fair ladies, eh? Bye-bye.
It's getting a bit out of breath, do we go without talking? And now we go a cannibal way. Presumably we'll be using this for one of the cannons on the um, castle rooftop, eh? But um, for now I'll uh, leave the under castle book here and um, let's get going. What do you say, baby dolls? Hey, yeah. Presumably this rope will allow me passage out of this place without me uh, needing to walk through all those caves, and sure enough it does. That's very astute of me, isn't it, eh, baby dolls? Well, um, so... I'll actually leave the cannon heat cannonball here, and, um... Let's be heading off this way, as I believe that watery spring that I came across um, was somewhere around here, getting towards the lighthouse where um, that rather shady figure was, wanting me to put out his fire problem. After his little mishap, I suppose you could say. We're trying to dispose of the refuse of this island. Can we throw the bucket here out of this fountain, I wonder? I guess not. Still, there's other bodies of water I can try, isn't there? So no worries just yet. By the way, I'm curious. I wonder if this marshy ground would actually hurt me. No. Okay, so I don't need to worry about that from now on then. How fortunate. Almost got hit by that bird though, didn't I? Just went past Dylan there. I think the uh, I don't I don't I don't think the um, body of water is in the castle. And no, it's not. It's here. So let's see if we can fill our bucket here. You filled a bucket with water, boy, boy. And uh, as could be expected, the bucket still looks exactly the same because buckets aren't generally transparent, are they? So if do we just give this bucket to the man here or do we have to actually put the fire out ourselves? You give the bucket of water to the lights house keeper boy boy. How considerate of you, boy, boy. Thank you, thank you, my friend. I can put the fire out now, Sonny Jim. He puts the flames out with the water. With the water. Then disappears inside the lighthouse, taking the buckets with him. The selfish blighter, boy, boy. Or at least it's one more item to worry about, narrator, sir. So can we collect these twigs or wherever the, the fire was coming from, emanating from, you could say? No. Okay, then let's get a coin anyway, bringing us up to 23 as we proceed. Yeah, it's Dozy again. He hasn't travelled very far, has he? But then again, this is the pier with the boats that he said he'd be travelling to. So do we, do we all have to evacuate this place, maybe, like we did with um, Volcano Island, is he, I wonder? So... Maybe the cutting implements will be used to cut the boat loose at some point in time, I'd imagine. I'm not going to risk um, 
stepping on f onto the boat just yet, though, just in case, um, you know, it isn't actually solid yet, and I fall into the water and drown. That would be typical trickery and treachery from a dizzy game, wouldn't it? So, um, right now, let's be, um... Heading back to that cannonball that I left behind, um, above ground, and um, we'll see if we can use it with, with the cannons, eh? even though um, I don't have any matches on me in order to uh, fire the cannons, do I? So who knows what we'll be doing here, eh? Who knows if we'll even solve a puzzle for that matter. But it's worth a shot as usual, I very well feel. I'd best save since I don't think I've saved in quite a bit of time. And let's get going. Or as the soldiers from Half Life 1 would say, let's go, play, play. 25 Celsius in here, and it's getting towards half three. In the morning. I don't like that. Especially if I was early September, like I said before. I'm a kind of pipe, I wonder. It's it seem not. Okay, then I'll be collecting that um, book that I left down here. I'll see if this wall is transparent or not over here too, but it seems like it isn't, as a matter of fact. Makes me wonder if I'll, if I'll actually have to figure out a way to open these hatches at some point, by the way. So now that we've retrieved our item that we've left behind, we can proceed, um... With, um, without, without, um, a worry in our hearts that we might lose an item, baby. And I've got a cannonball, that's right, yes. Just what I need, I do so believe. And it looks just like the other cannonballs that were up by the cannons, doesn't it? The bat sure does have a... A most complex pattern to avoid, doesn't it? In its circular pattern, like it does, like it flies. Can't believe I've already been playing for like 25, um, yeah, like 25 minutes, I think. Doesn't the time fly when you're having fun, Sonny Jim? Almost to the rooftop now. But what if I've travelled all this way and yet I won't I still won't have the means to solve any puzzles? Hey look this cannonball's bigger than the others. I thought it seemed bigger than the others. So let's try it. Let's see if this will solve a puzzle, eh? 
you placed a cannonball inside and repositioned a cannon, lining up, lining it up, facing eastward toward the treetops. Play, play. So what now? Do we have to fire it somehow? Or do we have to cut this down? I could always try um, seeing if I can do things with the other cannons as well in case I need to trigger um, this cannon over here with the other cannons maybe. Try it a daring jump from here. I mean, I'm pretty sure that it took me a daring jump from here. It took me to these clouds last time, but um, I'll try it from this cloud here to the right as well and um, see if it takes me to another cloud or something. This could be kind of difficult though with um, that bird's flight path and all, oh, and it is kind of, but I did it anyway, We, Although it didn't really help much, did it? I wonder if we can actually get in that lighthouse, by the way. the king needs to be the one to fire the cannon, but does it really seem very likely, does it? Um, I'll go and collect that goblet, I think. I could always try giving the king the Yonder Castle book as well, cousin I? You know, in case it was one of his favourite books and he'd forgotten where he put it or something. And I'm still wondering if uh, there's a platform I need to get to in here in order to um, collect an object or something or solve a puzzle. Okay, then, um... Let's see if I can find that, um... Did I leave it down here? No, I don't think it did. Well, I'll probably left it over here, I imagine. So, maybe I'll be needing um, to light a match or something with this castle, but I don't have any matches at this point in time, do I?
Who would have thought that we'd um that we'd do a full a full circle, eh, and ha end up back over here towards um the possible conclusion of this video. Although I am gonna play a bit more just yet and um see if I can accomplish anything more. Can I collect these blocks, maybe? But no, it seems like I can't. I could try um, giving the leprechaun the um, chalice, couldn't I? But I want to see what's. Uh, oh, I want to see what's over here to refresh my memory as well. But um, wonder if I could cut the spikes with the cutting implements. No. Oh well, the book tell give me uh, tell me a secret way to get past these spikes, maybe. No. Okay, then let's go out of here. And as you can see, those candles tricked me again just before. Ah, the video camera too. Of course, I'm not sure what I'll be needing that for. I'll save when jumping from here in case it gets hurt by the spider. And I did. Almost killed, as a matter of fact. Well, the spider can be hard to avoid, can't it? I should wonder um, what I'll need a video camera for as well, doesn't it? And I'm getting pretty much towards the point where I need to consume more fruit now, aren't I? Oh! Another slight hit there. Okay, then let's head up towards the king and see if um, he can enlighten me in any way uh, in regards to solving puzzles and whatnot and progression. Hi, uh, king. No, he doesn't want the book. I'll try giving him the cussing implement, but no. Okay then, I'm sure I tried to cut cutting implements here as well, didn't I? To no avail, Sunny Jim. I was wondering if I might need to um, put the um, chalice on top of one of these poles or something. Okay, then let's be heading over to the east again. And the king doesn't have anything to say about me loading the uh, cannon either. Oh well. Yeah, to the east we'll be heading now. Do we need to fill the, ch the chalice with milk or something? Guess not.
try filling it from the fountains too. Yeah, let's be adding yeast again. Making quite slow progress, aren't I? Was wondering if the book could maybe tell me something uh, secret in regards to prying up that uh, weakened floorboard, maybe. But alas, it doesn't seem to be the case. The cannons um, fired at the um, hay bales or something, but seems like it hasn't. I wonder if the um, if the troll somehow saw or was aiming the cannon at him from that massive distance, and if he's left his and if he's backed away from his position, thus allowing me to bypass the position that he was blocking off, maybe. Well, I, could, I could always try seeing if he's actually dead or not. I mean, maybe he doesn't actually need to be killed by the cannon in, in order to be driven off, maybe. Maybe just intimidation alone will work. Hopefully. Getting closer to him now. Looks like I've been playing for games for about 40 minutes now. So let's see if the troll is still actually there, right? Checking random fences again in order to um, see if or not there's coins behind them. Stealing Remy OCD. Okay, now for the moment of truth to see if the troll is still actually there. Well, he is, but maybe we'll be able to threaten him and make him leave by telling him we're pointed at him, eh? Maybe not. I thought I might as well try the, old, the items with him anyway. Oh 
Okay, then I'll try giving the chalice to the um, leprechaun since you could imagine him liking to drink in style, doesn't he? Uh, no. I'll try giving him the book too. Yes, not. I'll save now since I'm gonna try descending and getting hurt. But no, I won't bother reloading after all. Since there's more fruit on the map anyway in the underground cave down here. Hmm. Wonder if I need to cut a leaf away or something. Or random flowers for that matter. He needs to cut the bell down from somewhere this vicar. And with how he's the vicar of yonder, I wonder if he needs the yonder castle book. No. can actually get into that uh, lighthouse and I, I thought it looked strange in my last video seeing all these marks in this tree like someone had climbed it but it doesn't seem like I can or that there's anything interesting of note in regards to that tree I can fill the chalice with this water as well. No. Seems like there is no door to this um, lighthouse after all, doesn't it? And I don't just have to look carefully at it, do I? Study it in great detail. I don't suppose I need to cut away these logs from where the fire once raged, do I? Okay, then I'll check out the boat and see if I can actually get on it and then see if there's anything on it. Whee! Yeah, I can get on it. That's nice. So let's see if there's anything actually on it. Oh, there is. Let's see what it is. Looks like some kind of carpet or something. Oh, a rolled up flag. I know what this will more than likely be used for, but, um, yeah, I'll end this part here, and, um, after all, this is a good screen to end on, isn't it? Alongside our friend Dozy. 
Or possibly our brother too, with the resemblance he bears to us. And um, let's turn the game off. And um, I'll see you all next time. Bye, bye, goodbye. Because I've been going for a long time. So adios, 45 minutes. Bye.